Hi, my name is Connie Stacy. I'm the president and founder of Growing Greener Innovations. We're here to give you a little walkthrough on the Grunge and Ultralight. So first off, turn it on. Press and hold the power button is the one on the very top. And it's press and hold so that you don't accidentally turn it on or off with a simple click. Once it's on, you have options of direct current or DC power versus alternating current or AC power. If what you're looking for is DC power, press and hold to turn on the power to this section of the ultralight. If you want AC power, press and hold. You'll see the green light come on. And again, you have power on the side for AC. We recommend that you do not turn on the AC if you only need DC. And the reason is that the AC converter uses a little bit of energy, even if you're not charging something. So save your battery and just use the DC. To give you a little bit of an idea of what you're gonna see on the display, you're gonna just plug in a rechargeable drill battery. Once you plug it in, what you'll see is the amount of energy it's drawing from the battery to charge this item. So in this case, it's kind of spinning around at about 20 watts. That means it's gonna use 20 watts of energy per hour out of the battery. On the opposite side of the ultralight, you'll find the charging options. So first off, we have the option for PV or solar. The cable is an Anderson power pole on this end and an MC4 on the opposite, which is the standard connector to most solar panels. This cord will connect a standard solar power panel with MC4 connector to an Anderson power pole, which connects in this port right here on the ultralight. You'll see it's color coded red and black and will only fit one way so you can't do it wrong. If you happen to have one of our Grengen solar panels which folds up, it's a slightly different connection. So first off, this is an 80 watt panel. Tell me that part isn't fun. Folds out. You'll find the connectors are up here at the top and you can choose to go directly to say an output like your phone or you can connect it to the ultralight for charging. When you're charging, you'll find this cable in the solar panel box and you'll need this little green adapter. Once you attach the adapter, put it right into the car out, uh, adapter port on the ultralight. Once you've plugged it into the ultralight, just plug it into the output port on the solar panel and you're good to go. The second is a car adapter or wall outlet plug, which again, you'll find the cable inside the ultralight box. Just plug it in, plug it into the wall or into the car outlet and you're good to go. One important note, because this unit has a charge controller, for safety's sake, you need to turn on the unit in order to charge it. If the unit is off in this condition and you plug it in, it will not charge. The reason is you need to engage the charge controller to make sure that it charges safely for everyone. The last item you see here on the side is a car jump starter. You'll see the rubber pulls back. So this is the cable for your jump starter. You'll notice the ends are not the same, so it'll only fit one way. You'll also notice that there's some lights flashing here. That's a good thing. Power's on, you're ready to connect to the battery and give it a charge. There's also indicators on the back to tell you what the flashing lights mean. So the ultralight is 480 watt hours. Be careful when you're looking at different products on the market. Some will talk in microamp hours or amp hours. Amp hours and microamp hours vary based on the voltage. Whereas watt hours, it's the same no matter what the voltage. So make sure you're comparing apples to apples. If somebody's talking in watt hours, talk in watt hours. If you're comparing amp hours, make sure they're the same voltage. One of the great options with the Grenchen Ultralight is of course that it's silent. It's lightweight and it's emission free. So you can take it to places like the outdoors and camp and not feel so guilty. Great for charging laptops, screens, devices of just about any kind, small power tools. Terrific for traveling with a CPAP machine. Another good use is as an uninterrupted power supply. If you're working from home and you're a little bit worried of a power outage and losing power to your computer or laptop, it's a good option to have the laptop plugged into the ultralight and the ultralight plugged into the wall. If there should be an outage, the laptop will simply draw power from the ultralight until the grid is restored. There's also a user manual and a data sheet inside the box. And if you can't find what you're looking for, go to our website 
at grengen.com.